Hello my friends, welcome to Forex VKS. Today is 2nd of uh, October 2022. So today is Sunday the night, <laughs> the, the midnight before uh, Monday, the market open. So just want to post a quick video, uh, take a look at the market, see what are the opportunity available. Going to next week, uh, going to tomorrow. Sorry, uh, tomorrow we are at the, already in the midnight. So let's take a quick look. Uh, before we start, subscribe, like, share, comment, support the channel. Take a quick look at the disclaimer. Disclaimer. Be advised that I am not a professional financial consultant or advisor. I am sharing this information for education purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, prices, or other information contained on this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage, including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset, or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the news. Uh, see what is going on. Uh, oh, we got bank holiday, uh, okay. Uh, on uh, Monday, on Australia, okay, China, Europe, German bank holiday. So tomorrow will be quite a slow day, uh, okay, quite a slow day during the morning, morning and uh, probably in the afternoon session. Uh, I mean the the Tokyo session and the London session probably won't be so aggressive today. And uh, we got uh, tomorrow, sorry. You also got China bank holiday on Tuesday, okay. But morning there is a PMI, okay. Watch out for this uh, ISM PMI. You might want to watch out this one on Monday, okay. The PMI, then uh, Tuesday, okay. Important cash rate on uh, Australia. So if you are, uh, if you are trading AUD, right, probably want to trade after Tuesday, okay. After the uh, bank rate, uh, okay, after the bank rate, okay, because there could be some uh, uh, big volatility, volatility, okay, before that, then we got jobs opening also important on Tuesday, okay, so they expect uh, a better number, uh, so the jobs are quite strong uh, for US, uh, that's why they keep on saying that they are not in recession, uh, because the jobs number are strong, okay, we got China holiday the whole week, uh, next week, <laughs> okay, so the the, the, the Tokyo session, uh, the Asian session will, could, will be quite slow, Probably will be a bit slow. So uh, Wednesday also we got New Zealand cash rate, you know. So these two are uh, okay. These two might affect the market quite a bit. Okay, so probably Tuesday and uh, when when Tuesday Wednesday probably have to wait after Tuesday and Wednesday to trade the AUD. Okay, because uh, probably both uh, currency won't move a lot before that. Okay, and we got non-farm employment change on uh, Wednesday for US. Okay, and uh, ISM uh, services PMI important uh, because uh, US uh, services is important for US, so do, do check out these two. Okay, of course, the uh, uh, good employment numbers will be uh, good for the uh, good for Fed. Okay, so they can increase higher rate <laughs> on the uh, during the next rate hike. And uh, Friday or oh, Friday, we got Canada employment numbers. Okay, we got employment numbers and uh, we got hourly uh, uh, hourly earning uh, and non-farm employment change. Uh, okay, so employment numbers coming out on Friday for US. So Wednesday and Friday, watch out. And we also got OPEC meeting, uh, so there could be some, uh, okay, some, uh, this uh, on Wednesday, uh, okay, there could be some volatility on all, uh, for all, on the, on the uh, oil, uh, okay, on the oil, okay, on the oil price. Okay, do watch out. Uh. There's a there's a probability that I hear that this OPEC might want to cut down the production, uh, okay, to uh, maybe pump the oil price up a bit. Okay, do watch out. And uh, just want to re just want to uh, 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 touch last uh, last week, uh, which this week, uh, okay, the, the 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 report which is uh, happened this week. Uh, of course, the final GDP knows nothing shocking, uh, okay, for the US, okay. And uh, the thing is, uh, okay, the, this is important, the PCE price index, uh, okay, the PCE price index is still higher, okay, above expectation, okay, so this is the, this is, uh, how, the, how do we call it, uh, uh, early sign uh, of uh, inflation, uh, okay, so 
if the PC price goes up, uh, okay, this indicate that the inflation is not under control. It's it's still okay. It's still higher. Okay, so there is a so this is bullish for USD. Okay, looks like the 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 the, the Fed will keep on uh, 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 increasing the rate. Uh, okay, increasing the rate. Okay, so let's let let's take a look at the uh, chart. Okay, DXY. DXY, okay, we got two bearish candle coming down to this uh, 112 area broken. So the next level is 110, okay. So probably DXY will continue to go down uh, to correct towards this area. 110 or 108 uh, before it, uh, uh, before it uh, uh, start to uh, rebound. So this one probably uh, in the short term is, is uh, continue go down, uh, continue with Euro. Okay, Euro went up, but Euro already hit the supply demand zone, uh, okay. So this one, there's plenty of sellers, okay, around this area, 0 0.99195, uh, okay. So this one, there's a possibility of uh, 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 this uh, euro, okay, being pushed down at this area. So you have to, uh, you have to watch out, okay, at this area, okay, you have to watch out and also align with the top channel, okay. Align with the top channel, uh, okay, align with the top channel, okay. Sorry, I'm using my laptop today. I just think of a, a bit bored every day sitting on my on my this uh, 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 trading computer, which is also the the computer that I use to record the video. Okay, it's my multitasking uh, 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 desktop. So uh, a bit <laughs> a bit boring. So I want to go you know, sit in the living room and chat with you guys instead. So I just bring my laptop out. You know, I'm doing this recording on the laptop. So, uh, so uh, not so, <laughs> not so uh, familiar while uh, recording with the laptop. Okay, but uh, anyhow, uh, the chart is the same. Okay, so you uh, you see a uh, power uh, power actually su suddenly have a big rebound. Uh, okay, after next week, after a big drop next week, so looks like it has a big rebound. Uh, uh, I think the supply demand zone will be around here at one one four. Okay. By demand zone, I think will be at around one four, around this area. Okay, so uh, watch out. Yeah, here. Okay, here. Yeah. Uh, okay, one point one five four. Okay, this area. This is the supply demand zone. Huh? Okay. So there will be plenty of sellers. I think waiting here. So there's a small, maybe a a small gap. Uh, this uh, Swiss franc. Okay, Swiss franc weakened a bit. Okay, we have a turn around over here. So it's dropping outside this channel. So Swiss franc, I'm not saying that it's gone yet. I think Swiss franc probably is going to sideways. Okay, probably is going to sideways. So uh, neutral and flag this one. Okay, so I don't see a very strong currency now. Uh, well, USD is strong, but short term is weak. Euro is strong, but uh, it has it had resistant. A uh, pound also going back to resistant. Swiss franc also is a uh, sideways now. Look look like sideways. Uh. okay went up, came back, coming down. I think uh, uh Swiss franc probably will be weakened against USD. Okay, weakening against USD. Okay, uh, Japanese yen nothing much happening. Okay, Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar broke down, huh? okay, we got one, two, three, okay, one, two, three, reversal, okay, so it's actually broken down, okay, one, two, three, so it's just broken down, so looks very weak, okay, looks weak, looks like you want to still continue to go down, uh, uh, AUD similar, okay. AUD looks like you still want to continue go down. A one, uh, one two three reversal actually happened here, okay. One, two, three reversal. So the price is coming down. We have to wait and see what happened here. Okay. 
what happened here? What happens here? Okay, 0 0.63955. Okay, if it breaks through, it should continue to go down. Okay, if it cannot break through, maybe it might reverse. Huh? Okay, New Zealand dollar also similar. Okay, we have a 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay, 1. If we got a double top here, huh? so the price is coming down this short term trade. If you are trading this, okay, there's a double top. Okay, so the price actually came down to target already. Okay, uh, now we have to wait for to wait and see which which side you want to break, uh, Okay, so uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three. Okay, here if it breaks below here, Okay, this can go either way, uh. Okay, because this one we have to wait for the I think better wait for the for the interest rate. Okay, after interest rate we see which side uh, the boost or the, the best win, then only we go in uh, okay. So look at the Euro USD. Euro USD take a look at weekly. Okay, weekly there's a bullish momentum, uh, okay, bullish. So uh, uh but Euro USD there is sellers over here at 0 0.9937 uh, okay. So uh Support, support, support broken now uh, become resistant now. Uh, okay, so there's a probability that the price might got rejected here and also here. Okay, these are all the sellers. Uh, okay, you see starting to sell here and sell here. Okay, so uh of course this one right I said if you have if you if you if you are last week uh okay if you're looking at the four hours I said one two three okay one two three reversal right if you already buy uh I, I told you right there's an opportunity to buy here okay to buy here the break of this are 0 0.96819 okay there's an opportunity to buy towards this area okay so the price almost reached the target area you should I, I think probably you should want to take some profit here okay this one already worked out uh, okay this this uh, uh trade the reversal short term trade already worked out okay I, there is a possibility that the high possibility that the price should come back to here okay to test 0 0.99375 uh, 0 0.99037 okay and see okay where which which other which where the seller want to start to push down the price okay they could push down at this area 0 0.990037 or they could push it down higher at 1.00165 uh, so okay this one the look for sell pound usd okay pound usd I told you right broke down here is infinity yeah uh, so you if you sell here right you're making like okay if you listen to me you sell here right you are making a uh, short position uh, okay you sell here okay you put your stop loss here okay you put your stop loss here right a bit higher okay a bit higher than this support uh, resistance so you if you hold it until here right okay you hold it until the pin bar here right end of the pin bar you are six to one uh, you are on six to one profit uh, okay this breakout uh, i told you about this breakout remember i told you about this breakout okay the price break down over here uh, i said it's a uh, uh, yeah okay the triangle uh, the consolidation over here okay one this uh, consolidation over here i told you you break Break out below here, you are heading to infinity, right? So you are actually you 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 would get a six to one profit uh, risk and reward ratio for this trade, uh, Okay. I close my trade. I think around two to one. Okay, around two to one, two to one. Okay. Yeah, around two to one, uh, Okay. I close it about a, a bit earlier. Uh, okay, because of the I think during that time there was some I heard some news, uh, some uh market news that got me a bit worried i should have keep it for six to one but not, oh, it's okay okay i think uh, two to one or three to one uh, okay my profit over here okay uh usd uh this one nothing much uh, okay it's still going quite a sideways you know still uh still very difficult to trade you know all the small small bar it's all uh consolidation sideways aud usd aud you see we can trade this but we have to Take note that uh, on the Wednesday, okay, Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, right? We got this uh, announcement. 
uh, look at the Wednesday uh, sorry uh, yeah. okay we got a uh, Wednesday okay Tuesday and Wednesday uh, better wait for these two before you trade the AUD uh, okay so AUD uh, they it, it, it does break through uh, okay if I if you look at the chart right okay or oh, you haven't broken through not yet okay so we are looking for one two three con break right okay but if you are, if you if you trade the double top it really happened okay so it really happened the double top target almost reached the double top target so this one is a break below here right there is a possible sell uh, but uh okay uh, a break below zero point zero point six six three six 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 three eight six three right. There could be an uh, opportunity to sell here, but you are the the risk is quite high. Okay, because uh, we got interest rate coming. Uh, okay, we got interest rate coming. Uh, so I don't like to trade uh, before the interest rate because a lot of things could happen. Okay, uh, other other uh, other event is still okay. Okay, interest rate is a bit uh, 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 how do you say that a bit tricky. Okay, a bit tricky. Uh, okay, so it's up to you whether you want to trade the interest rate. If you want to trade this break below zero point six three eight six three, uh, there is a sell opportunity towards zero point six two nine five three or even lower. Zero point six one six seven eight. Uh, you can see right all the commodity currency. Okay, it's getting uh, hammered this week. Okay, because market is going to uh, risk off. Uh, okay, risk off sentiment because of the all the event happening you know inflation everything and uh, uh, interest rate so market is actually uh, and the stock market collapsing uh, you can see right yeah, later I'll, I'll show you the stock market uh, okay New Zealand USD New Zealand USD also probably there is a chance to sell okay if the price break below here 0 0.55843 okay we are looking at a double top coming to target and we are looking for a uh, one two three one two three break uh, okay one two three break okay okay zero point five five eight four three okay look at weekly oh, weekly is still bearish and all the commodity currency is being hit hard by the uh, USD uh. okay so USD Swiss franc USD Swiss Bank Swiss Bank has been losing ground uh, for US for uh, uh, against USD okay so uh, support okay uh, support broken now become resistant uh, so the price is being pushed up okay uh, yeah. okay so the price is being pushed up again so there is a high probability the price could come back to this area okay because because now now this one the sellers has, has become buyers Okay, so it should have a it should have a high chance to go back to one point zero zero four seven. Look at the four hours. Yeah, yeah, double bottom, right? We got a double bottom here. Okay, double bottom. So there's a good chance that the price should continue to go up. Okay, so this one also tradable. AUD and NZD. Because interest rate, you have to be careful. Okay, USD cat, USD cat also. There's a probability that it should continue to go up. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay, double top came back down to target. Now, oh, the price broken through. Okay, so the price has broken through. Okay, price broken too. Okay, so we got our classic. Okay, one, two, three continuation. Uh, okay, one, two, three continuation. Uh, you can see right. One, two, three broke. Okay, continuation. So the price should continue go up next week. Okay, but Monday quite sometimes quite tricky. Uh, we have to uh, be a bit careful. Uh, Monday sometimes quite tricky. Okay, a lot of false move on Monday and a Friday, you know, turn around day and sometimes, okay, a lot of momentum doesn't carry over the next week. So Monday morning have to uh, wait and see. Uh, 
bit a bit a bit maybe okay pound JPY okay pound JPY broken through ah uh, okay the support over here mm, not yet okay just there lah uh, it's there okay this is the area support resistance area yeah okay so the price is here so it still can come down okay it still can go either way this one we have to wait and see okay 50 50 on this okay euro jpy is the one that you know i took a, a quite a lot of profit over here okay on this uh, pin bar so uh so this one okay you can take some profit here or you can wait for the price to go up a bit more because when the price go up a bit more there are resistance over here uh, okay this one is up to you go okay i think go there's a chance to sell go okay we got quite a big pin bar here at at, 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 at support look at the weekly okay weekly is quite bullish huh? okay we got a bullish pin bar here okay look at the daily okay daily we got a pin bar here rejecting this area okay 1660 okay uh, quite a big pin bar here Oh, this one have to be a bit careful. Uh. This one actually is ranging. Let me go to the four hour, take a quick look. Hmm, what is going on this one? Let's look at the big picture. Okay, lower low, lower low, lower low, lower high. This one probably we wait a bit more, a bit, okay, we wait a bit more to see what is happening here. Daily, the price close here, the 4 hours. I think this one, you look at the 4 hours, right? Okay, if, it's, if, if it is going to go down, right? Okay, if it's going to, uh, the price is going to continue go down, right? It should make a head and shoulder, I think. Here. Okay. After you make a head and shoulder in the four hours, then I think the price should go down. Huh? Okay, or else, uh, or else I because we got a pin bar and a pin bar, pin bar against the pin bar. Okay, so this is a bit difficult to uh, the buyers are strong and the sellers are strong. Okay, so we have to wait a bit and see this one. Uh, maybe wait a bit and see. Don't uh, don't be too aggressive. Silver. Okay, silver actually look quite bearish. Okay, there are rejection at this area. Okay, these are where the sellers. Okay, consolidation, there are sellers. So sellers are around this area. So we have to wait a bit. See what other price action. Okay, 19. Okay, 19.16 and 19.66, 19.69. So there are sellers over here. We have to wait and see. Okay, this is a this is a this is not pin bar. Okay, this is a positive tail bar, which is not a, a good sign to sell yet. We have to wait uh, for other signal, stronger signal. Okay, for a stronger signal in order to sell. Uh, look at the index. Okay, look at SPI, SPI, we are waiting, waiting for it to break this one. Okay, consolidation, we are waiting for it to break the bottom over here. 6445, uh, after it breaks, okay, after it breaks, then there could be an opportunity to sell, okay, sell towards this, this low, 6336, okay, for uh, AUD. Uh, for SPI, okay, we got one, two, three continuation. Uh. Okay, 
got one, two, three continuation. Uh, okay, one, two, three break. Uh, okay, the price should come down to here. Dex. Okay, Dex. Uh, Dex is broken clean. Uh, but Dex, uh, probably uh, it's at the bottom channel here, so I'm not very keen to trade this one. Let me see the price action is going at. Uh, wow, very negative. Okay, for hours is going down daily. Okay, there are some support. Uh, okay. Uh, this is just spot. Uh, temporary is just going sideways. We have to wait a bit. Okay. Temporary is just going sideways. Look at next step. Okay, next step broken through. Uh. Okay, next step broken through. Okay, okay, we got one, two, three broke break. Okay, so next step should continue to drop. Okay, should continue to drop next week. Let's see how far is the next support. Okay, so there's some gap, okay, towards this area, one zero five three three, okay. So this should have a, it should continue drop to this area. Look at SMP, SMP also broke down from consolidation, broke down the the late the, the very important support area here, okay. So it should continue down, uh, but there is a, take note uh, that the price might come back to retest. Oh, the retest already happened, okay, okay. So the price broke, the retest already happened. Okay, the one hour. Okay, the retest already happened. Uh, so it's on its way down again. Uh. Okay, so the US, the US uh, stock market is just getting hit very hard. Hey, the US market is being hit very hard. The stock market. Okay, looks like it's it's just it just it just going down. Okay, it just going down the drain. Okay. Okay, three four uh three five six seven and three four two three uh okay, so. Looks like it's on, on its way down again. Dow Jones, Dow Jones so broken resistance, broken support, came back, retest, resumption going down. Okay, so looks like it's on its way down also again. On its way down.
that there's not much of a support over here right because the price broken through so there's not much of a support okay there's uh easily right easily uh okay the the dow jones uh, okay can drop to here okay because this level has been broken through uh, so these are not very strong levels these are not very strong levels okay i just put it here horizontal line so these are not very strong levels to support okay to support the drop uh. okay so uh okay so the u.s market the stock market i think is going to collapse uh. okay uh cap, cap, what, what do you call it cap, capitulation okay capitulation so there could be a big drop continue oil okay us oil we got opec meeting so we have to wait and see a bit look but looks like the price is being rejected 81 uh, okay for the short term i think it's coming back down uh. short term okay but probably you want to wait for the uh, opec meeting first bitcoin okay bitcoin is still defending this area we have to wait and see 18,537 it breaks below it's going back to 16,000 even 12,000 uh ethereum also is still uh the price hanging tough the bulls and the bears are fighting it out at uh, 1262 def defending this area once it drop below it's going back to 1000 okay it could even go down lower okay we have to wait a bit and see okay so this is that, that that's my uh analysis for for tonight okay i'll talk to you again probably if i see something tomorrow i will talk again Stay safe. Good night. Bye-bye.